All right, Mr. Teleferro TV out there, everybody doing out there. So we got a couple of rap beefs in the atmosphere, and we're wondering what's going to happen next in a couple of these situations. Let's start with MGK and Eminem. Now, as we do all know, MGK did deliver a response to Eminem's diss on his last project, Kamikaze. Uh, MGK dropped a diss record entitled Rap Devil in the direction of Eminem, and I thought it was a pretty good diss record altogether. MGK can rap, and he got busy at Eminem. You can tell he had some stuff built in that he wanted to get off his chest for quite some time in the direction of Eminem that he got off, including pretty much telling Eminem he's washed up, he's no longer that guy in hip-hop. He's still maybe the, one of the best of all time, if not the best of all time, but right now he's reaching and looking for relevancy and he's bored. Now, we found out through one of Eminem's producers, Mr. Porter, um, somebody that's long time been around him, that he is in the booth and he is responding to MGK soon. Now, that was something I thought maybe Eminem probably should just leave alone because he there is no win for Eminem in this, right? I don't see how Eminem wins in this. MGK literally has nothing to lose and to be honest, MGK ain't been this relevant in the last couple years, so he's getting nothing but clout. And a lot of people have been sleep on MGK lyrically. They're starting to wake up on that on that machine gun Kelly and, and, and realize he does have some bars. I don't think Eminem has anything to gain. He's the older, more accomplished rapper. I know it's hip hop to the core, but my concern with Eminem is it's gonna be tough for him to look uh be looked at as the victor, even if he comes hard with a diss record, right? Because the way I look at it, with so much information in the public domain about Eminem, Machine Gun Kelly is going to have a field day picking at little topics here and there from the domestic disputes reportedly, uh, from Eminem's use of drug usage. Like, there's so much in the public with M. Machine Gun Kelly can have a field day getting off some of his jokes and some of his bars and, and other diss records if Eminem wants to play this game. I just think it's going to be tough for M to come out as the victor in this bad boy. But uh, I'm excited nevertheless. Hip-hop is, is back, and it looks like the people that's rapping against each other is the representation we have from the white side of hip-hop instead of some of our own. Again, Eminem is preparing for a response, according to one of his producers says M's in the studio right now. So we are getting a response to that Machine Gun Kelly diss at some point soon. Now let's slide and glide on over to Drizzy Drake and Kanye West. As we all talked about on my platform, Kanye West did apologize to Drizzy Drake for just how he handled the entire situation when they were reportedly in the studio in Wyoming and Drake was helping Ye finish his album and reportedly Drake felt some type of way about all that. He was like, yo, I'm helping you complete your project. I'm, I'm doing this, I'm writing hooks for you. Not only do you go step on my album release date by pretty much releasing all of your project projects the entire month of June to get everything out before I drop. Not only do you do that, you allow, you produce a record in which your artist, Pusha T, is this and me, the infrared joint on Pusha T's album, right? You produce that record and there's a Drake bar in it. Not only was that bad enough, you go give Pusha T reportedly information on me having a, a child and I was hiding in the world from my child and the child from my whatever, right? You go give all that information to push a T. Now Kanye has since denied that and apologized to Drake for any miscommunication that they might've had between the two in regards to that. But it looks like Drake is preparing for war. We heard a snippet of a new record. I believe it's French Montana's new single in which Drake is on and on this record, Drake pretty much tells any chick around him don't wear no Yeezy 305s. So we're now seeing Drake take it back into the music as he's throwing jabs at uh, Kanye West because he can't deliver the diss record that he has in the chamber because his OG Jay Prince told him not to do that. So he's just gonna throw little slight jabs in music. Ye tried to apologize to kind of dad this and reportedly from what I'm being told from a source that I do trust, Drake is gonna pull back. Now, because the video is shot for the Yeezy 305 bar that's in French Montana's new record, that one is gonna get dropped. But overall, reportedly, Drake has accepted Ye's apology and he's gonna pull back because he's gonna look like the big bad bully if he continues to diss an artist 
he's gonna look like the big bad bully for trying to diss an artist in Kanye West who clearly doesn't want any rap beef. And he's also gonna look like a suck at the same time for not responding to Pusha T who wanted the rap smoke. You, go, you can't be a bully and a suck at the same time. That's like a oxymoron. And I guess Drake and his team realized that and they're gonna pull back from the yay references in the music. And it looks like uh, Kanye West's plan to apologize to Drake publicly so everybody can kind of, so he can kind of swing that narrative and everybody can see that he wants no part of this. And he's saying he did not tell Pusha T about uh, Drake's child, right? So it looks like that plan worked. And it looks like now Drake's going to have to pull back from his Kanye West references. And it looks like he plans on doing that after this last reference we're getting in this French Montana record. So again, M's going forward with his diss and Drake's pulling back with his. Thank y'all for the time, love, and support. I don't take it for granted. Salute. Yeah. What up, Pharaohs? I decided to step my game up again. I've created a music reaction Instagram page. That way, you guys can be up to date on some of the latest new music in the atmosphere. And you guys can also send me some of your music as well. And you will get Mr. Teller Pharaoh's first reaction to your record for good or for bad. Or an artist that we talk about on my platform's music for good or for bad. Again, follow me on Instagram, Mr. Teleferro TV. Again, that's Mr. Teleferro TV, and you get more of yours truly.